Hey everybody and uh, welcome to Vortex This Week. I'm Travis and... I'm uh, Jose. And uh, today, Jose, what are we going to be speaking about? Oh, so we're going to be talking a bit about uh, collecting in 2019 uh, South Africans. You know, cause we don't always get all the American style stuff you know, and all the collections that they have. So yeah. we're going to talk a bit about you know, how we can collect and what to add for us. You know, what you can look for. Different targets yeah. possibly that you may have overlooked. Uh, maybe you looked at it and you saw it and you're like, nah, I don't think so. Uh, also, just, you know, just to say, not every game needs to be a AAA target to enjoy. And also, crack cross platforms, you know, like, you know, various from old to new, you know, especially with collecting. You know, yeah. Serious collecting, especially. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Alright, so, so we've got a bunch of games here. Yes. Let's, uh, let's have a look and see. What are we going to start with? Oh, yeah. Let's we'll start with. Alright, so PlayStation 1. Uh, and some of these, just from our, they might be a bit of rarer titles, but they are quite cool to be yeah, having them in your collection. We've got uh, Tafu Wrath of the Tiger, which is yeah, quite cool. Interesting, that one. It is quite cool. It's uh, about a, a Kung Fu Tiger. You get different styles and stuff that you do in it. Uh, keep in mind that these are my NTSC copies that I've got, except for this one. Uh, Grind Session as well, which is actually quite cool. That was um, more like a Tony Hawk style. Um, but didn't take itself as seriously. Okay. Yeah, that like a secret character which is like a demon on a skateboard, <laughs> which is quite cool. Yeah. Um, but something different compared to if you only used the Tony Hawk. Well, it's a charm, especially adding to your PS1 collection, looking for something different, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then Fear Effect, uh, also quite a great game. It's um, got a little bit of like a horror-ish kind of feel to it. Okay. But um, newer style graphics for then, they went with a different kind of feel and look at it. But something decent and something to have in your collection. Right. Cool, that's cool. <coughs> we'll go cool, through it. Yeah, I'm going to go a bit more new gen. Right. And so, um, I enjoy my Switch a lot, you know, Eddie, because I sort of missed out a bit on the Nintendo era, you know, mm. younger, so mm. really getting into Switch. So, you know, Switch has got mainstream like Mario Odyssey, and, uh, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Brilliant game. If you're looking for something different, you know, I would, I would go for something, you know, there's uh, Unravel. This is the second one. Uh, brilliant game, like, to, like, Wool top characters that you go through. Something a little bit different yeah, to it's your it's normal every day. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You know, you have Red Rogers. Almost sounds like uh, Stan Lee's commenting in the background. Very comedian style game, you know. Uh, something different, you know, that you can add to your collection. Now, the Max. Um, also, very good to be playing this. A uh, very cool game. So, yeah, it's sort of like just um, something different for Switch, you know, as opposed to mainstream. Something just random to add, you know, if you're looking I to. Think, you know, the the problem is that we get we get stuck in and we get pushed into AAA titles. Well, this is it. Yeah. We get pushed into AAA titles. Are like you should be playing this, you should be playing that. So uh, I think as maybe parents who are looking for for kids, you know, games for kids or their younger teens or whatever yeah. it may be, um, they get pushed into the AAA titles all the time. Um, we always get exposed to AAA titles all the time. The advertising, everything. Well, that's it. Yeah. I've got to be playing when you got a war, or I've got to be playing Mortal Kombat 11, or I've got to be playing. There are other titles out there just as good. And sometimes these titles that are not triple A are also actually a bit cheaper. Yes, and also you know, in South Africa, you know, the, the guys don't, there was no hype for these sort of titles, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, overseas there's a big hype for them and we've missed out on these. So, absolutely. You know, to add something just, you know, content or some fun to your you know, Switch collection, that yeah. is uh, definitely something to look at. Yeah. Something when you go to yeah. and your friends will get together and like, okay, cool, let's play a game, and you, you pull out something like that, and like, okay, cool, let's play Unravel. Yeah. And you sort of go, what is this? I've never seen this yeah. in my life before. So it's, it's something cool to Yeah, it also keeps you sort of out of the, the norm. Yeah. yeah. All right, so then uh, PS3, actually, so PS3 is actually a very good uh, console to be collecting for at the moment. Games yes. are pretty cheap. Um, there's a lot of PS3 games out there at the moment. So last time to get the triple A's if you are looking for them, but also yeah. last time to get those random ones because uh, it's, it's, it's sort of like that generational where you know it's, it's a good time to get it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, start off with uh, we've got Bleach, um, but uh, it's, it's a very nice anime. Uh, yeah, so it's and it's quite rare as well, actually. You don't find it. No, it doesn't, also, it doesn't make a big hype like your DBZ, you know, or maybe your Naruto or One Piece. That's another thing is that's <laughs> it's, it's that everybody gets exposed to Dragon Ball Z or One Piece or, or Naruto, or Naruto yeah. because it's on TV all the time. Absolutely. So people yeah. miss those other ones, uh, which is also a great game, which also can lead to other animes that you want to watch. Yeah, uh, like if you play the game, you're like, well, this, so that's how I actually got into Berserk. Yeah, just playing the game, and I was like. Oh, and it's a little bit more to what you enjoy. Absolutely. Uh, Buster Sarah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. This is actually quite a cool, great two player game as well. So they don't get a lot of those either nowadays. No, no, two player game. Okay. So it's on one screen, two players, lots of enemies. You know, so for kids who want to get together, just bash the crap out of people. 
That is awesome. Yeah. Hackett Slash, you've got uh, Dante's Inferno. So this is actually pretty overlooked because God of War was one of the greatest yeah, hackers. Yeah, it's another triple A. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's actually a very great um, Hackett Slash. Yeah. Good storyline as well on this. And then you've got um, Bionic Commander. Something different. It is um, actually comes back from NES days as well. Yes, but at least I actually found that out the other day. It was quite yeah. cool. Uh, this does come back from those days. All right, so okay. yours yeah. next. Oh, awesome. Three sixty, yeah. Um, so I'm talking about three sixty games. So three sixty um, was actually a very you know, sold very well. It still yeah. does sell very well. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, another good thing to add to collection for your Xbox three sixty or Xbox fan. Uh, also, a nice time to be adding you know, to your collection because they're also not too expensive. Mm. Um, and it's got some really good titles like uh, so, sort of like Alice. Um, Pretty dark yeah, game. Very dark game. Right, <laughs> <Dark, which open. laughs> uh, But also available on PS3. Yes. Uh, actually yeah. quite rare. Uh, but also another game that wasn't sort of like AAA or you know, the companies can make a big fuss over it. But yeah. it's a good game. No, uh, no. Then obviously, you know, we're going for um, exclusives. So your Forza, um, also a very good game. Uh, you know, Forza series, Horizon, and mm -hmm. Motorsport. Mm -hmm. So if you're once again 360, going for and it's Forza 2. Um, so I'm showing you a bit of it's a bit like heavy hitters, but you know something different to add to your title if you, you know, got PS3, you need for speed, and you want to try something different on 360. Yeah, that's sort of so I think it's something a little bit different in your racing because that's also open world, correct? Right? That's sort of open world style, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think it's sort of where you look from the, the, the need for speeds. Yeah, when they had that open world, they knew it was like, okay, this is great. Yeah. So the open world racing is something different, but yeah. it's also great. But but yeah, 360 has a lot of good time to start collecting. Uh, yeah. Prices are not exorbitant or crazy at the moment. Which yeah. is nice. Unlike, you know? So uh, that, that generation, PS3 360 is I think a good time to now start adding, you know, if you yeah. want to build your collection. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you feel like you haven't got enough titles. Alright, so then what I'm going to jump to now, uh, something different, this is going to be for guys who are going to be collecting on the Sega, if you've got a Sega Dreamcast. Oh, wow. Hardcore collectors for cross platform, like hundreds of consoles. <laughs> what are you saying, hardcore collectors? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... First off, I'd like to. This one is a Berserk. Uh, sort of a Berserk. Mm. Um, and this is actually quite cool because you've got a PS4 version out now, yes. which is uh, Band of the Hawk. So it's also not something that's going to be mainstream as well. Suggest. But something to add. A decent game, and if you follow the anime, you'll love it. And then you've got a survival horror, which is Blue Stinger. I also, something that, but that was actually got a lot of fun. It is. It's a um, different, different kind of uh, feel and take to things, yes. but that's what makes it exciting. Yeah. That's what makes these games different. It's not your Resident Evil. It's not your Silent Hill. Yeah, it's a. something different that they. And that's what we, that's what we game. It's, it's to, to find something different enjoyment out of it, not just the AAA. Different worlds. Yeah, different worlds. And what and what designers or, or game programmers take on their their their, their story. Yeah. You know, yeah, and uh, so not all of these, not all of these games are going to be done by Ubisoft or Activision. Or yeah, one not of all of them are going to be. Or whatever. It's yeah. going to be done by guys that you don't know. And the thing is, if we give those guys a chance, you never know. One of those games might just put them on the map, and then they yes. start making. And that becomes the great AAA. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then the last one would be Speed Devils. Uh, that one is by Ubisoft, actually. Quite funny enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But um, different. Car, there's no license cars, there's no, it's just like arcade style. Yeah, fun cars to put together, racing fun tracks. No, it's like going to a major company and then playing like crazy taxi. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. Also, it was a new gen cars, it was a lot of fun. Alright, so you want to hit up the new? Yes. Okay, so we're going to new gen now. Yeah, we're going to go new gen, so I'm going to go half, half, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so these will be just some titles that you can now get ready for your PS4. Yeah. Uh, and also not a ridiculous price, or triple A prices. Yeah, least, so know? this way, if you're having a look out there, you can, mm, I don't know what to play, or I don't know what to get. Have a look at these titles, yeah. because uh, you can actually so. get um, so some we'll decent games. This came out uh, quite recently. Yeah, for uh, we'll we'll uh, uh, Running Gun Zombie. That's it, all I need to say. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun, right? It is, it is a lot of fun, I guess. Oh, and then we've got Past Kill, which is also... Uh, yeah, it's actually a, a, um, a psychological thriller. Sorry. Um, psychological thriller that you have on Fast Cure. Yeah, you've got uh, some different anime games that you've got. 
these are titles that people don't maybe yeah, so necessarily I mean, know of. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. take a look at them. Uh, Strange Brigade. Also, Strange Brigade, also awesome shooter. Just run around, go shoot. There's nothing hectic about the yeah, game. Yeah, so it's like a ball. It's like a very um, comedian style. It is. You've got a narrator who comes on, yeah. and the narrator will be going on about a couple of different things. And it's it's it's, it's a great game. So, South Scroll is good PS4 if you don't have the Switch. Nice because it's two player as well. You don't have to be online to be. Uh, so, I can flash up a new? Yep. I can slash yeah. for Extinction. Um, and that's another thing is that we just received obviously Devil May Cry 5 just came out. But this is a nice alternative and it's not going to cost yeah, you all. Yeah, it's a joke. It's also content to your gameplay. You know? you open your horizon. Also, Attack on Titan anime. Awesome. Yeah, it's a awesome game. Fantastic. It's like, sort of like you in the, the anime, the gameplay. Yes, which is absolutely. Cool. And the nice thing about the Attack on Titan is you know, if you follow the story, if you follow the anime, yeah. Uh, it just like adds like yeah, bonus. We'll throw that in again because it's also once again. And most of these games are also available on Xbox One. We're just showing you the PS4 versions. Yeah, we currently, you know, have. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, oh, what have we got here? So. All right, so the, the, the majority. Now you must understand with, with PlayStation 2, developers took a chance because developers yes. were making all kinds of games, they were taking chances, and most of the games actually worked out. Um, it's That's actually really quite cool, yeah. But uh, there was, I think there was only, there was like 40 cancelled PlayStation 2 games. So that's that's quite a lot of games still that were going to come out yes. and things just happened and yeah. never did. But there was, like, I can't say there was too many bad PS2 games. It was just, there was yeah. so much fun. The fun. And it was, it was, there were triple A titles in PS2, but the range of different it's games. Almost like each one was a triple A. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. Also, a good time to start, you know, add to your PS2 collection. Yeah, there's a very nice, a lot of games there. And the PS2 is starting to, starting to slow down. They are in the sense of um, becoming more rare. Yeah, there's yeah. a bit more rare titles. That, remember something as well, what people do is that they've thrown games away. Do they understand what they actually have? All games have been scratched mm -hmm. and chucked away because they no longer work. Consoles have been thrown away. So what happens is now is we're getting down to the smaller, yeah, smaller piece of, of PlayStation 2. But we've got yes. things like Last Spa vs Spa. <laughs> it's actually quite a crazy game. Yeah, it's quite cool. Lots of fun, yeah. um, of Extinction, also a hack and slash game. Lots of fun to play on this. Um, so people usually get used to a Gran Turismo or a Need for Speed type of style. Yes, those games do work at 100 percent. Yeah, they, they, they're good players. Yeah, but sure. if you're looking for something different. Look at a Tokyo Extreme Racer, uh, based on the type of highway racing, you know, in Japan. Um, you can modify your car and do it up and do whatever you do. There. Those, 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 those thirty-two thousand grade games are done. Um, Exploit, another great title that you can actually play. First time I actually played it when you actually get to control all your teammates and stuff like that. Trying to do mm -hmm. and got that. Also, two player. Uh, no, it's only one. And then it is a rare title, uh, Predator. It's hard to find. It's also a hard to play. <laughs> it's fun game to play, but uh, enjoyable. I love the movies. Yeah, especially if you're a fan of, of uh, the series. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And then Final Fight. We haven't had a Final Fight in years. Uh, this was the last one though that I know that's actually come out. Um, it's one player when you're playing when you first start off, and then you've actually got to open up the character to become two player. But it's 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 a great open world, semi open world, should I say, um, smash and bash kind of game. Yeah, it's fun. This is Broken Sword. Yeah, it's a point and click, but the adventure style, the, the, the storyline that came out, so if you are into point and clicks, what I mean, yeah. Uh, just the story unveiling and everything that you go through to try to get through this, it was, it was a really big day. And then um, also a very rare title at the moment that you might not find is Shadow of Memories. Um, something different, you actually need to find out who killed you. Every time a new chapter starts, you die, and you've got to find out who killed you? Um, and this is something different. Yes, this is by Konami, so it is a triple A publisher, or, publisher, yeah, yeah or, 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 or games mm. um, developers, yeah. developer. But at the end of the day, it wasn't one of their main titles. Main streams, yeah. It wasn't a Silent Hill. Well, this is, I guess, as South Africans, yeah, we, we've only been pushed triple A, triple A, triple A, yeah. by Red Dead, God of War, yes, Devil May Cry, you know. And the points of this is to show these guys that there are other things that you can add to your collection that's mm. enjoyable, mm. just as enjoyable. You may actually find that you enjoyed more than a triple A title because yep. the AAA just becomes the same old repetitiveness. But also, sometimes so, they rush for the triple A's and the triple A's come out. We know what happened with uh, Assassin's Creed. Um, 
uh, which was Unity. It? Unity. Unity, yeah. Unity was so bugs. buggy. Yes. It, it, it turned out to be so hectic that they had to release patches, and the patches weren't working correctly because it was just really, it was rushed. Yeah, they're pumping out content. So they, they're relying on, on, on one to be a AAA company or title, and they'll know that people just buy the next one anyway. Yeah. Now, look, as fans, you know, you normally do, mm. you know, you expect the next one to be just as good. Well, Assassin's is a very good series, you know, if you want to answer your connection as well. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, uh, absolutely. <clears throat> Alright, cool guys, we just thought uh, to end it off, you know, we uh, give you like, sort of like, uh, enjoy the accessories or what's the merchandise. Kind of merchandise. That's just something really cool for the PlayStation fans, you know, to add this. It's a really awesome light. Uh, to look Unboxing, a lot of people have that actually in their yeah. man caves or game caves or whatever. To add those, it's, it's a really cool light. You know, it's quality, it's done, it's an official product, really cool. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Fitzy Xbox hasn't done something yet, or Nintendo, be really cool. Yeah, what is it? Add that to your collection, but just something different, variety. Mm -hmm. It's all about just, you know. Yeah, if you're, if you're looking for something different. Yeah. yeah, if you're a fan, you're collecting and you want to have those rooms where you have all your games collected and put have a nice setup in your man cave, game cave, yeah. you know, what show you off what you've got. Yeah, it's quite cool. 100%. Yeah. Okay, okay, guys. Well, till next weekend, yeah. we'll see you again. Thanks. Ciao. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Here's just a couple of different titles that we have installed that I would definitely suggest you have a look at if you're looking to collect something different. You can find us on Facebook or Instagram at Twisted Realms SA or on YouTube, Twisted Realms Game Store. If you haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you do.